The best double majors for social science degrees. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. And this was a highly requested topic for me to do these double major videos. But before we get into that, make sure to gently tap the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, college degrees, careers and opportunities that are gonna lead you to success. And we also go over some of the common financial mistakes that so many people fall for. If that sounds like something that interests you and you haven't done it already, like the 80% of people who view my channel without subscribing, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then ring the notification bell so that you never miss out. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Social science degrees don't have the best reputation overall. I've gone over this in other videos. There's some that are better than others, of course. But when it comes to personal finance, when it comes to actually getting a job with your degree, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. So a lot of these subjects in social science are extremely interesting and I think they add a lot of value to the world. But for some reason, unfortunately, with the way that things are set up, a lot of the time it's very difficult to get a job with a social science degree. This is why you see pretty high unemployment rates with people who graduate with social science degrees and then a lot of the time the jobs that they do end up getting aren't going to be the highest paying. But with that being said, that's why this channel exists. If you do still want to go for a social science degree after doing your research and watching my videos, just make sure that you're being very careful. Most of the time you're not going to be able to just get the degree and then expect people to be lining up outside of your door offering you a job. And if you're going to go $40,000 in debt in order to learn this stuff, you want to make sure that you can get a job job afterwards so that you can pay that debt off. Now with that being said, number one on the list is going to be a social science degree plus a business degree. Now an example of this one would be an economics degree and a finance degree. With an economics degree you would expect to make around $58,000 a year starting out and $109,000 in mid-career pay. And a finance degree you would expect to make around $56,000 a year starting out and $99,000 in mid-career pay. Now one career path you could go down is you could become an economist and they make around $105,000 a year. There's 20,000 jobs available and it's growing at 14% which is much faster than average however a lot of the time you're gonna have to get a master's degree in order to become one and this is a common theme that you see over and over again when it comes to the social science degrees a lot of the careers that look really good you have to get a master's or a doctorate in order to be considered for and even if you do have a master's or a doctorate with some of them it still can be very difficult for you to get a job unless you made a really good plan and you knew exactly what you had to do in order to get it so for example one test that I like doing is typing in the degree name onto either my monster.com or indeed.com. This will search all of the different listings for keywords that you type into the search bar. So for instance, when you type sociology degree, only around 2,400 jobs pop up. However, when you type in marketing degree, around 271,000 jobs pop up. Now this isn't a perfect test, of course, but it kind of shows you that there's a lot more demand. There's a lot more people who are advertising for marketing degree graduates rather than sociology degree grads. So I definitely understand if a lot of you like these social science degrees, I took extra classes and all kinds of different social science subjects. However, a lot of the time when it comes to actually being able to get a job, you're probably gonna have to go an extra mile and do a lot more. So for instance, to make yourself a little bit more marketable to business owners and hiring managers, it might be a good idea for you to mix your sociology degree with a marketing degree. The next one on the list we're gonna be talking about is gonna be social science degrees mixed with math degrees. So I think a great example here would be political science mixed with statistics. With a poli-sci degree, you would expect to make around $47,000 a year starting out and 89,000 in mid-career pay. Whereas with a statistics degree, you'd make around 63,000 a year starting out and 114,000 in mid-career pay. And I think this is a combination that would make a lot of sense just because of the fact that if you're someone who's trying to go into government and understand policy, it's probably a good idea that you understand statistics as well. So one career path you might go down is becoming a political scientist and they make around 122,000 a year and there's 7,000 jobs available and it's growing at around 6%, which is faster than average. However, again, you're generally speaking going to have to get a master's degree. Now one thing I always like to look at is how much students tend to regret getting their degree. Now in doing research for this video a lot of people who get social science degrees do express quite a bit of regret. So for instance when you look at ZipRecruiter.com they did a survey where they asked people if they regret getting their degree and the least regretted type of degree was a math degree at only about 12.78 percent. And the reason for that regret was because it's extremely stressful. However the fourth most type of regretted degree was a social science degree and that was 29% and the reason was because it's too general, impractical, and hard to find a job without further studies. So in many cases I think learning mathematics along with your social science degree would be a pretty good combination. The hard skills from the math would complement the soft skills that you'd get from learning a social science degree like communication and formulating an argument and giving speeches. Next one on the list would be a social science degree plus an engineering degree. So an example of this one would be economics mixed with industrial engineering. With an economics degree 
degree, you'd expect to make around 58,000 a year starting out and 109,000 in mid-career pay. Whereas with an industrial engineering degree, you'd make 68,000 a year starting out and 111,000 in mid-career pay. If you became an industrial engineer, you'd make around $88,000 a year. There's 295,000 jobs available and it's growing at 10%, which is faster than average. Now, to be honest with you, this is the combination that makes the least sense for quite a few different reasons. For one, it just doesn't seem like there's that many degrees that would work synergistically together. And for two, engineering degrees are already extremely hard on their own. And so if you tacked on a bunch of extra social science degree classes, that would probably overload you. Now, according to the last census, the average person who graduates with a college degree makes around $2.4 million over a lifetime. Engineering degree grads on average make around $3.5 million over a lifetime. And social science degree grads make around $2.5 million. And the cool thing about an engineering degree is it pretty much doesn't matter what career path you end up going down, you still end up making quite a bit more than just about everyone else. So for instance, engineers that end up working in arts or media make $3 million over a lifetime, and engineers that end up working in community service or legal, they make around $3.2 million over a lifetime. I think this is for several different reasons. One is that engineering degrees tend to be really well respected, so you're likely to get hired pretty much no matter what type of job you apply for. Business owners and hiring managers kind of know what they're getting with an engineer. They're going to be getting someone who's extremely smart and also really hard working. On top of that, engineering does teach you quite a few practical skills that you can use in real life, whether you end up going into the corporate world, whether you end up starting your own business. So if you do your research and you find a great combination of a social science degree and an engineering degree, it could be really good. But chances are, I'd say 99% of the time, that's not going to happen. Next one on the list is going to be a social science degree plus a technology degree. Now this one I was a little bit surprised on. There are quite a few different examples of technology and social science degrees that are either double majors or dual majors. So for instance, one example is you might get a sociology degree and an information systems degree. With sociology, you'd make 43,000 a year starting out and 68,000 in mid-career pay. And with IS, you'd make 59,000 starting out and 101,000 in mid-career pay. Now this combination makes a lot of sense to me because of the fact that they are trying to make technology as automated as possible. And one great way to automate it is to understand human behavior on a widespread level. And that's what sociology is all about. One really interesting skill that's really blowing up right now is data science or information science. And that's all about seeing what behaviors humans have when they're interacting with technology and then basically trying to predict their future behavior. So for instance, someone might be a huge fan of micro pigs and they're probably 100 times more likely to buy a shirt that has a picture of a micro pig on it or maybe a mug. That's a really simple example, but data has actually surpassed oil as being the most valuable resource. And that's why there's so much controversy over all these big tech companies taking your data and then selling it to third party companies, but that's a subject for a completely different video. With that being said, one career path you might go down is becoming a computer and information research scientist, and they make around 122,000 a year. There's 32,000 jobs available, and it's growing at 15%, which is much faster than average, but you're generally gonna have to get a master's level degree. Next one on the list is going to be a social science degree mixed with another social science degree. So an example here would be economics and political science. With an economics degree, you would expect to make around 58,000 a year starting out, and 109,000 in mid-career pay. With a poli-sci degree, you'd make 47,000 a year starting out and 89,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down, I already mentioned this one, but it's a political scientist and they make really good money, around 122,000 a year. And I think it's probably pretty important that politicians understand economics. Now, when it comes to social science degrees, they do get bagged on quite a bit all over the internet. And I'm not one of those people who wants to jump on the bandwagon making fun of social science degrees. I'm just somebody who tries to give you guys the facts. I will say that there are a few strengths when it comes to social science degrees and I think the first one that I want to talk about is they do teach you quite a bit of soft skills. These are skills like giving speeches, communication, formulating an argument, and critical thinking. Now unfortunately the market doesn't value social science degrees very much and by that I mean there are more people who graduate with these degrees than there are positions to fill up. However just because they aren't directly profitable that doesn't mean they're not going to indirectly help you make money and just be successful in life in general. I think that studying history History, for instance, has helped me to gain the success that I've already gained up to this point, which isn't that much, but still it's, you know, something. And of course it didn't directly help me, but it indirectly helped me because I learned from the mistakes of the past. Now, with that being said, another strength when it comes to social science degrees and the careers that they tend to lead to is that they're probably not going to be automated. Political scientists, for instance, only have around a 4% chance of being automated. So if you are able to make a really good plan, set out a goal and figure out the steps you need to take in order to reach your goal, and then you're able to get your first few years of experience, get your foot in the door and find yourself a really
really good career, then it can work out really well for you. However, with these types of degrees, you really wanna make sure that you do your due diligence because a lot of people end up getting a social science degree thinking they can get a job and then they end up having to go back to grad school, take out lots of loans, spends lots of time in order to get a master's or a doctorate. And then sometimes even with a master's or a doctorate, they're not gonna be working in the field that they thought they were gonna be working in. Now, with that being said, number six on this list is going to be a social science degree plus a more practical degree. So an example here would be psychology and statistics. With a psychology degree, you would expect to make around $42,000 a year starting out and 70,000 in mid-career pay. And with a statistics degree, you'd make 63,000 starting out and 114,000 mid-career. One career path you might go down is becoming an industrial or an organizational psychologist, and they make pretty good money around $111,000 a year, although there aren't that many jobs out there. I think mixing a statistics degree with a psychology degree would make you look quite a bit better and it would help you to secure a career like this. Psychology, of course, is gonna involve quite a bit of statistics and if you have a really deep understanding of that, it would help you out. Another thing that you might wanna consider is just minoring in your social science degree. I've talked about this in other videos, but there's a lot more people graduating with these types of degrees than there are jobs in order to fill. It's all about supply and demand and unfortunately, when you have a really bad ratio of supply and demand, that's going to affect pretty much every area of the career. So for instance, if there's not that many careers out there for people who are graduating with a psychology degree, that means that the few careers out there that are left, they're probably not going to be very good paying. They're likely not going to treat you that well. So your quality of life is going to be relatively low. And on top of that, if you have any issue with that, there's probably a hundred other people who are lined up to take your job. Don't underestimate the power of supply and demand. It's extremely powerful and you need to make sure that you understand this. So what you could do instead is you could consider either minoring in it, taking extra classes, or just studying it on the side. So for instance, one of my favorite subjects is history. And so what I did is I took extra classes in it and I basically just keep it as a hobby. I think sometimes if you try to make your passions into a career when there's just no career opportunities out there, you're gonna end up kind of ruining it for yourself. So for instance, I really like playing video games, but if I had to play video games professionally and I had to just take it extremely seriously all the time, I would probably lose my love for the game. But of course that's extremely subjective and it's gonna be different for everyone. Let's say you're really set on a history degree and you absolutely want to do history professionally. You're gonna to wanna to probably find an alternative way to make money with it. So you might wanna start a podcast or a YouTube channel or blog or something along those lines and figure out how you can make money as an entrepreneur. If you're just doing it for the knowledge, some of the best universities in the world offer completely free courses online like Harvard University, for instance. Now I've mentioned this before, but I've been working on a really exciting project where I'm basically trying to rank all of the best degrees and put all of the most important information that I've found by doing lots of research online into one table. And you can find that down in the description below in my Patreon. I'm only gonna be offering version 1.1 there for a limited amount of time. So you can check it out right now. And then in the future, I'm also going to be putting other stuff on my Patreon, like my personal stuff stock portfolio. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc., and share the video. And before you leave, make sure to check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.